First off, good morning and happy new year. I hope everybody had a wonderful New Year's Eve and came through on the other side in good spirits ready for the new year. Today's topic is going to be how unhappy Harry is and basically how pointless he is now that he's in exile with Megan. This expert, this royal expert, is reporting that Harry is isolated from his family, the army, his friends, and the Commonwealth, and therefore his life is pretty pointless. He also pointed out that, especially with the COVID-19 pandemic, it would have been nice after William and Kate did the clapping, you know, thing, how nice it would have been to have heard from him, but no, not a peep. Now, could it be that we didn't hear anything from him about the virus and the pandemic as he said that it is an actual rebuke from nature? Well, it does appear that Harry is recently dubbed as unhappy since he took his exit and he is in exile. Because let's be honest, if you unwind the whole thing, what you see is a very ambitious young woman who was a minor role player in some show and an actress who dazzled him and that's exactly what he and she did. And no doubt, even though he's got this great glamorous wife that he wanted, he finds himself again living in California away from his family, friends, work, and the army, all the things that he knows, and he just looks incredibly unhappy. And on top of that, she's a political activist. I mean, in every video that you see, he just looks so miserable. I think when Megan said to him, they're getting to me. And as a small boy, Harry felt that people were getting to his mother and he was too young to protect her. So when this girl says that she needs protection, he jumped right to it. But she's not a victim at all. We all know that. So what if the roles were reversed? In other words, if you had a savvy man who married a besotted princess, then moved her away from her family and friends to a part of the world where she was surrounded only by his family and friends, right? Imagine a failed actor using that princess's title for financial gain in Hollywood and to finance a mansion and lifestyle that he could never have afforded on his own work and reputation. What would you think of that? Honestly, I think Harry knows that he's been taken for a ride. He may not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but he's not a complete moron. The problem is he didn't want to be the third wheel for William and Kate, and so he allowed himself to become overwhelmed by Megan. Now she stuck him with a son, and they're holed away somewhere where he has no support network of his own. And I have to throw something else in this video. You know how I always do that. Something always comes up. As I was doing this video, this article just popped up on my screen that Megan and Harry are sharing photos of their mothers. And they wrote this poignant letter about what's going to happen in 2021. No doubt it's their PR team working overtime trying to help their image. But I wonder what Prince Charles feels about this. I mean, obviously, they're not going to include the fathers because then Megan would have to talk about her dad. What do you guys think about all of this? Do you feel like Harry's made himself completely irrelevant? Because they don't do philanthropic things anymore. They've jumped on every bandwagon known to man and jumped right off the bandwagon. And now everything they've done is about money. So make sure to leave your comments and suggestions below. And as always, have a fabulous day.